Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the Free Man Podcast. I was going to, you can see me shuffling around here, I usually don't get up in your grill, try to adjust my cameras in the middle of a shot, but I wanted to tell you guys that I have been meaning to, to tell you, to tell you, to tell you the story of the Confederate flag tattoo. And you would ask me, what do you mean? I've talked about my tattoos quite often. And I made a gross error. And this was years ago. I was It was probably 20 years ago. About 20 years ago, around this time of year, maybe, maybe not. 2001-ish. And here's the thing, I got a tattoo. It, at that time, it meant something different. People around me understood what it meant. I had other people, it kind of rubbed them the wrong way. And you know what? We were okay. If you fast forward to probably 2005, 2006, it became more and more apparent that the, the, the meaning shifted. You had other groups of people, people that I wasn't allied with because a lot of the pro, I'm going to say the, the neo-Confederate movements, not not uh, the New South movements or something like that, but the people that you usually see with the Confederate flags, most of them, for the most part, I don't think they have an, an idea about how stupid they looked or what they were doing to other people. And what the Confederate flag meant as a tattoo or like even one of those Confederate cotton shirts, most people knew they were from the South. They knew that they were people, I guess, used to living in the South, all shucks, Southerners, things like that. And yeah, you could tell I have a somewhat of an accent. People might remember that. And the thing is that the wrong people took over that, that flag. And yeah, I met a lot of idiots that still had them. Some all shucks people, people that I know that didn't, you know, and, and where I live, hate black people. Most people I know with rebel flag tattoos or even rebel flags didn't care. That's the whole thing. They didn't care about, you know, anything like that. It didn't rub them the wrong way. They didn't care. And the people I knew when I was in the Navy, most of them didn't care. And they, they knew they could come to me. They had problems. I had I, I still dug a lot of those people. I'm not going to like placate you and say, oh yeah, some of my best friends were black. They're not. But I had great, great shipmates and people I knew from back home, people I had no beef with, people I cared about. And you know what? It does. I'm not some champion for race relations. I suck at it. But I'm going to tell you that flag meant something different. And the attempt to own it and to steer it in a different direction, it failed because of other idiots. Well, fast forward how many years later, I fought to get to a point where I could have it filled in. And because of the current medical condition going around, I couldn't find a place to do it. Everybody's book solid. Nobody didn't have enough uh, stools open, appointment only, booked for months in advance. Nobody had an opening. Well, I finally found a guy who could do the work. And I'm talking about, this has been like five years, five years late. And people ask me why I did it. I was like, I'm a libertarian. I don't think I, I lean towards this neo-Confederate movement. I, for every time there's some pure intentions, like uh, neo-Confederate movements or, or these, these people, the buttholes take over. The people who make them look bad. Idiots. Racist morons and you know what i'm not a racist i don't care the whole thing is we have our own problem white people have their own problems and even people with rebel flag tattoos and the irony is i had an ex-girlfriend from jersey or new york just bear with me she wasn't a big fan of it and I, in a way i started i i didn't like it at first what she said but I start to think, and I'm like, yeah, it, it really went it went overboard. And 
the thing is, it's you probably might be able to tell now, it's just colored in. And I could, bear with me. I just, I, I got it filled in. It's not going to be the most pretty thing in the world. And you know what? I imagine it's not going to be the greatest tattoo, but it's a part of your life. And I wanted to tell you the other irony. And a lot of people, I tell them this short little story to get a chuckle, but I should have figured out I was a hypocrite a long time ago for having it. And one of the things was, when I was stationed up in Virginia, when I was in the Navy, I had this tattoo was rel relatively new. And I was involved with, uh, it was a black chick I knew. I don't want to say her name. We'll just call her Mrs. Or Miss, pardon me. She wasn't married. That would have been funny. Miss. I, you know, things were kind of slow. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Things did fall apart, but not because of my tattoo. But her friend, somebody I called Peaches, would walk up and pull my sleeve up. And she did it right in front of Miss and Miss, her two friends. And these were two black guys. And they pulled my sleeve up and Peaches goes, you, you you involved with a black girl and you got that tattoo? You know this don't add up. And I, and she's like, what what? And I was like, oh, it's 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 not a big deal. I, I don't think anything of it. I was like, she's like, you so you you interested in my friend? I'm like, yeah. I said she's cool. I said I really didn't care, man. You're cool. You're cool. You act like you got a half a half a brain. And she looked all right. So I was like, why not? And she says, I guess you're all right. Well, around the time she had pulled my sleeve up, those two guys look at me, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to get jumped. No, nah, those guys just sat there and smiled and laughed. But here's the thing. Eventually, it clued into me that this tattoo probably wasn't the best idea. And it, it was more my political beliefs more than sensitivities. And yeah, I moved back to an area where people had tattoos like that, but it was time to get a change. And I'm just not in line with those old beliefs. And I mean, more or less, that's that's how I got rid of the rebel flag tattoo, the Confederate tattoo. And you know what? It was it was just time. And here's the thing. I don't feel bad about it. And you know what? Just be upfront about when things are failing. Be up front, be upfront about morons in your life, and when they basically steal something from you that had purpose. And somebody even asked me, like, well, "Why are you so, you know, uh, why don't why don't you own up, own it? Since they're the idiots, like Michael Bolton in Office Space." And I was like, "You know what? It was just easier for me to do this. I, I I'm not going to rep if I go to prison." I'm not trying to go to prison, but if I went there for, you know, some type of evasion or making bad jokes about the president, I would be worried about that and having to wrap up about that. And I'm bald with a, formerly had a Confederate flag tattoo. And you have to start thinking about things like that too. Also, but you know what? I said, I handled it, and I got on with my life. As I always say, get on with your life. It's not too emotional. I'm not as emotional as those people that get pissed off and walk around with those flags. It's just, I'm I'm dealing with the things I know I can fix. I'm fixing them on my, on my end, and I tell you to do the same. And you know what? It doesn't take libertarians to figure that out. It doesn't take a, 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 guy with a, a former guy with a Confederate flag tattoo. And you know what? If it ain't you, it ain't you. It's your time. So that's a story of the Confederate flag tattoo. Also, uh, usually for the free map podcast, you have a uh, notifications. You have a like, uh, like, subscribe, uh, Twitter, Gab, Parlay. You know, the Parlay sucks. If you want to prove me wrong, Parlay, Parlor. You could email me and say, ask me what's wrong. 
because you won't answer your emails anyway, because you suck. Now, I do have a email uh, address down there for a hate email. And imagine somebody would get pissed off and say, oh, it's a Confederate flag story. Oh, yeah, you're a sellout, whatever. Okay, I'm praying for you, man. I hope if you ever run into me, I'd like to buy you a cheap lunch sometime. Uh, preferably something with the low cholesterol. Because you may or may not enjoy it, but it might benefit you. Now, for the rest of you folks, please take care of yourself. Please, you know, was it love mercy? Walk humbly with your God. I think that was one of the Psalms or something. But uh, anyway, take care of yourself.